You guys, don't pay retail for the Air Jordan 5 Burgundy. These got some issues. Let's go over. Yeah, he got kicks. I like swish. I don't miss. Don't do bricks. He got kicks. The kid is sick. He went raw, raw. Cause he got hits. He got kicks. What is up, YouTube? I'm He Got Kicks. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, they get all the notifications every time I drop one of these bangers for you guys. Hit the like button, hit the share button, do all those great things for me. Follow me on Instagram, at the real he got kicks, and of course the hat page, Perfect Brims, and TikTok, he got kicks 95. You guys, today's video is brought to you guys by Soul Premise. Right now, they are still having a clearance warehouse sale where it's 60 to 70% off of some bags. And of course, use my you know specialized link then the description box down below. That that way you guys can go ahead and take advantage of this sale because 60 to 70 percent off these bags is a whole lot of money and they added a few different bags and stuff to it so that we there's actually more variety and everything of course so be sure again to use my link in the description box down below that way you guys can take advantage of these bags and of course travel with the best bags that you can to travel with but again let them know that i sent you and of course man enjoy these deals but you guys today's video we are going to be talking about the air jordan 5 burgundy and exactly why you guys should not buy the sneaker on release day so the air jordan 5 burgundy actually comes out on tuesday august 29th for a retail price of 225 dollars after taxes for me that puts it right at that 250 dollar mark which is absolutely just insane so the one thing that i will tell you guys the first thing i'm going to talk about is these things they are kind of limited you know but there are actually some stores that got quite a bit of stock now i will say though what one reason and probably the main reason why you guys should not buy this sneaker on release date is because of the retail price it is 225 dollars plus tax when this shoe will probably sit you do have the palominos coming out of course on september 2nd and then of course you do have all the other stuff coming out in the following month and this sneaker right here just to me i love it i love the quality of it you know it does have its quality control issues just like every other sneaker but i do think that this sneaker will sit i do think that you guys will be able to get them for less than retail down the line now if you get a discount on them or whatever release day or whatever it may be then 1000 percent go ahead grab these things for under retail if you can do it on release day i'm all for that because again if you like the sneaker i love the sneaker i love it i think it is a dope shoe but i would not pay the retail price for it because again it is just super expensive and i mean super expensive whenever you have all these other things coming out in the following month like the palominos playoff eight and then the red cement four like literally you have palomino then red cement four back to back so that is going to be super super expensive to go ahead and pay another 250 on top of that along with whatever it is throughout but again like you know follow twitter accounts like soul links because sometimes you will actually find like actual under retail deals on release day if you want the sneaker on release day because there are sometimes that does actually happen whenever it just literally releases and they know it's going to sit so some companies actually put a discount code on them i've seen that happen before and actually some here lately but this sneaker right here i think it is a good pickup but what's going to hurt it is, of course, you had the frozen moments on Saturday the 26th along with the Union 1s. They came out and then they dropped on Union as well. So a lot of people have spent a whole lot of money and will continue to spend a whole lot of money into this month as well. So I do think that, that is going to hurt this sneaker. I do think that it will sit. I do think that it is lightweight limited though. But that does not mean light limited does not mean it's going to sell out. It doesn't and we know that. But this right here. I think that there's a couple reasons why you guys shouldn't buy them for retail on release day. Number one, price. Number two, you can get it later on down the road if you end up passing on something else and you find it sitting, then 100% buy it then. But I would not buy it on release day, spend the 250 on release day whenever you have so many sneakers that I honestly would put above this one coming out. So there's a couple of those things that that this sneaker just has going against it. 
and of course this sneaker was supposed to have been released i think if they would have released it on august 12th my birthday whenever it was originally supposed to and they didn't push it back of course or well it was officially so the red cement 4 is supposed to be on my birthday this thing has been pushed back twice if they would have just dropped it on the first time it got pushed back on august 12th i think this sneaker would have sold a lot better because it didn't have as much going against it as it does now now it's just kind of in the middle on a weekday and just everything against it like honestly with everything coming out with it i just don't think that this sneaker is going to get the love that it kind of actually deserves so i think this one will be, will be sitting and i think everybody that wants a pair for retail will end up being able to get a pair for retail or under retail hopefully because again 225 dollars is steep we've talked about it many times whenever talking about that 225 twenty five price tag on any shoe it is steep so i would 100 percent look for those retail deals on release day and again i would check and see if you have them if not i would just wait it out see if you can go ahead and grab a pair for under retail eventually down the road or again if you work at a sneaker store and you get that 30 percent off i would buy it for that I would 100% buy it for that 30% off. Of course, that 30% off is super nice. <laughs> I'll take up that. I loved it. But this right here, I think, is absolutely a good shoe. I think a lot of people will enjoy it, but I just think it's just coming out at the wrong time and has a lot going against it. But again, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the Air Jordan 5 Burgundy. Is this a sneaker you'll be going for, or will you, like I said, wait it out see if it does really sit as long as i think it will and get it down the road or again we guys be getting it for retail on release day and saying screw some of the other sneakers that are coming out because i know some people that are saying that that are saying hey i just want this shoe i don't care how much i spend in the month of september i just want to get what i want and buy the shoes i want so i definitely understand that but again let me know in the comments section down below if you guys are new to the channel again man hit that subscribe button ring that bell you got notifications hit the like button hit the share button do all those great things for me follow me on instagram at the real he got kicks and again thank you guys so so much for everything i am for one super excited about one thing that i've ordered that is coming in i'm super excited to add this to the channel and be able to be more in depth and be able to kind of you know talk with you guys more and of course add a little bit more to the channel for you guys so super excited man hope you guys enjoy it i'm gonna keep talking about it because man <laughs> i'm super excited so love you guys thank you guys for everything and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next one peace